What's up guys? This is the Braveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Louisiana. So to round off where we left off, we have got a chance to destroy, um, or at least to badly damage, some Iroquois rebels. So let's take them out. So this part represents quite a big decision point, really. Because we... We're at a point where I don't have the economy to sustain a large force. Um, nor do I have the technology to beat a superior army. So a call has to be made about who I attack. But I suppose that's a discussion for another stage. For another phase of this video. But right now I want to deploy my cavalry out wide form a general battle line and really what I want to do is do scouting with my cavalry because I suspect my cavalry alone could probably take this army out. Oh I forgot about my coeur de bois. For a minute there I thought those were enemy guys. I thought damn they deployed close. We can probably do a lot of work with our cavalry and I won't be surprised if they are moving up through all this cover. So there's no... And there's no guarantees, really. There's no guarantees as to what may happen or where they may deploy. Although it looks like... I was about to say they were running, but they're not running. <laughs> I was about to... Send my cavalry in to destroy these units as quickly as possible. Make them waver, waver and then break them or shatter them. To be honest, just chase them down. Don't just shatter them, destroy them. Because these are rebels after all. So it is in our interests, in our interest to kill as many as we possibly can. And the rest of my army currently is not taking much of an active role. And that's just fine. We are taking some bow fire. Okay, kill them all. Send those guys to actually support this unit so they don't get bogged down. Make sure these men do chase down these units first and foremost. So my infantry is about to uh, face the only bow units that gets to have a pop at the front line. Provincial cavalry going to mow down and charge down this garrison unit. Let's switch back over to my other cavalry units. Because I want confirmation that they're doing the Lord's work. My general's moving over, ready to take out this last unit. Okay, they are standing up to my provincial, provincial cavalry better. That's mainly because my provincial cavalry is... Well, provincial cavalry is a bit pants. Come on, 
tiro. Take out those last 16. These guys can come back and help take out someone else. Absolutely continue. These are rebellious dogs. Although it looks like they've sufficiently spread out to escape. Come on, you guys only have five to kill. Okay, you've got him. Good. Now oh, these guys are definitely going to escape. They've gone everywhere. Well, if the fox chasing after them is big enough, maybe. No. Oh, there's one guy over here. Oh well. They successfully managed to rout without being utterly destroyed. But damn, we got most of them. We might have actually caused them to die on the map. We've got ten men. Thrust. Gotcha. Okay, so. As I was saying, we're getting to a point where I will not be able to beat all of these armies. Reliably. I need technology. And to get that technology, I need to attack either the French or the British to go take Quebec. Now, one of you did post in the comments a very comprehensive argument as to why it should be the French that I can more easily conquer these territories. Like, I could, I could walk, march up to Quebec under the guise of friendship, storm and take the city. And it's not actually a bad idea. I'm a bit concerned because they do have... For your I'm sure they have more troops. So if I bring my agent back, and I'm sure they have more troops in Montreal. If not, Quebec might be a good idea. Because right now the Brits have got one army. 13 colonies I'm at peace with have a few armies. And it also means I get all of my income. I'm not currently trading with the French because they're blockaded anywhere, anyway. So it's a puzzler. It really is. So you try to take out the general. Nope, sadly he's been spotted. But let's use him to go try and spot these French troops. Because it is possible... It is possibly the best option to turn on my colonial masters so early on. That's the peculiar thing. If I attack Britain, it's actually quite risky. At the moment, it's quite risky because the 13 colonies have two good armies. The Brits, the Brits have a good army. If they converge on my small force, which currently has no artillery of any kind or advanced firing drills or anything... They might really be at risk. And there's a chance that they could utterly destroy us. So the aim of the game is to try and play it safe. And I forgot about the damn Ottomans. Although in Louisiana they haven't been as much of a problem compared to some of my other campaigns. So I think... After this, yeah, after this turn, I'll cut them out. Actually, that wasn't so bad. But the main thing is, I've got to make a decision to cut out or not before we end the turn. Because if I stop recording during a frozen screen section, for whatever reason, the game decides to get rid of my audio, get rid of my video, but keep the audio. Another mission proceeding. So where are those French troops? Because it, it interests me. It really does. 
because right now we make about yeah realistically we don't make we could but we don't make four thousand a turn but we could fleet arrives oh yes this is my damaged fleet from the trade zones he's definitely not going to make it back Just try and shadow the coast. <laughs> yeah, I think what I'm going to do is build up a bit of a war chest while I try and see if there are any more French armies in this territory. So my priest can go up here. My rake can clear the woods. So it's very tempting to spend a load of cash, but I want to keep my cash reserves high in case things take a bad turn for the worst. I also need to check actually on what the relationship with Spain is like. Because Spain could be the deal breaker. They could... Oh, yeah, if I attack France... That means a war of Spain as well. And Spain owns most of the Caribbean. Hmm. I don't suppose you'd want to... Off you everything I got. Oh, for a minute there, I thought they were going to accept it. Okay, where are they? I was sure they had more troops than this. I thought they had about a few stacks. Unless they moved them. This army would be frustrating, but we could take Quebec, and Quebec is worth a bo bucket load in tax. And it's already a Catholic region. Whereas if we took Boston, they got a school on it, there would be some... I'd have to spend some amount of time stabilizing them the town emerges in Michigan okay let's build a smiths here I think that's probably going to be our plan to take Quebec in a lightning raid because it was also pointed out they have no walls so it's easier for me to swat oh, to overwhelm them so I'm coming around to the idea that that's coming around to it I have to say just get a bit more line infantry recruiting just in case the, the AI does anything annoying like I'm quite happy that the Brits have decided to stay there they've moved back into the territory and they're not seemingly attacking don't want to build anything because I could lose these border towns Royal Palace might not be a bad idea, but it doesn't really provide me with... Can I recruit you guys with what I've got? Technically, yes, because I don't need a technology. Hmm. Keep building up the war chest. Because I'm probably going to lose a bunch of men taking Quebec. I'm probably going to have to take... Um, Montreal but yeah that guy who commented thanks for the comment because I, I previously wasn't considering it as an option I was thinking you know the only way to go is to fight the 13 colonies but it also means I can I'm throwing off the shackles of colonialism I'm becoming my own people well, I can get a load of damn big guns as well We've got measuring tools which opens up roads. Let's get these guys a bit further up. And make this chap a military governor's barracks to get a bit more recruitment closer to the fighting. I could be tempted no. I was about to say I could be tempted to build more roads. 
Let's see, our income's plummeted. So much so, we might actually end up being in... Considering the money we owe France, that might put us actually in, a ne in the negative. Sir. In which case then, I'm probably going to load up the this army with militia and march them up to uh, Quebec, all uh, friendly. March. Nope, so we've, we've cleared Montreal. They have no more armies. That army in Montreal is going to be a problem. But yeah, knocking out those two armies and potentially remaining peaceful with the 13 colonies is a much better option. For now. <laughs> okay, so we only went up about 200 quid. So we owe about... We pay about 1,500 to the French-ish a turn. And that's money we could be spending on making our country great. Get him next to... Get him next door. Take my priest. Infiltrate. Get my, no, get my rake over there. Get my priest to stand here and block the passage of French troops easily into this territory. Let's keep my men marching on. Okay, not this turn, the next turn. Actually, let's check our ministers, see if there are any fantastic ones. Plus one navy, plus one management. We don't really need any of you guys. Don't need you. Don't need you. No, you're not great. Plus one treasury, plus one management, plus one justice. Plus one management, plus one treasury. No, my guys are still better. Okay, no, it's tempting to build that, but I'm worried that I might have to do some mass troop building program. Especially as I'm earning about 200 a turn. Because it's not impossible that the French turn on us. Well, I mean, obviously they'll turn on us. But it's not impossible that they uh, try to blockade my ports. Which is a concern. It's got a basic steam pump. We're growing our technology, technology base, but we can't take a maximum advantage of it. See, we're still not getting any trade from France anyway. Because my worry... Well, then again, these ports usually produce lots of chaffs. So that's not as much of a concern. These guys can make a straight run back to my port. Around this British Navy. How much did it cost to rebuild you? Only 500. Let's group my infantry together. You sit here. My priest might, s my rake might my sit here to, to block either to block their army from moving from my region. It's a cheat. It's a dirty tactic, but what? you know when you're playing as a miner, you've got to rely on dirty tricks. It's got some more research points. Well, some of our agents got better at research. Okay, get on to spinning Jenny. <gasps> and this is it. Oh, so they're allied with the... Are oh, they actually... Oh, yeah. Well, okay. Hold on. So I'm their protectorate. I can't declare on myself. We're in good, we've got good relations with the Huron. They may attack us because we are considered a colonial power. But I think if we can knock Quebec out quick enough, we can reverse reverse that and go threaten... Um, their territory if they jump on us. Spain is a problem because we may lose trade with New Spain. And I don't want to give them a gift. I don't want to give them a gift because I don't want to lose that cash. <laughs> um, there is no easy way to declare war on the French. So you can't declare on I want to declare on Russia. Well, so I was thinking about if I can declare on a French ally, would that bring them to war? But it wouldn't because I'm their protectorate. 
so I'd have to declare on just the French. Here we go, boys. Call my ally. My computer knows. I had an audio problem. <laughs> um, I had an audio cut out. Um, let's do this, boys. Wait a minute, why is... He beat a retreat because I was in his territory. Hold on, but, oh, but let me check, because did my eyes deceive me? Spain is not at war with me. They hate me, but they're not at war. Let's trade with the Mughal Empire. No, no trade of regions. Let's trade with the Ottomans. Let's keep our export of goods. And that money now just goes to us. Then let's, ta let's take this city. Let's take this city and get... Oh, man. <laughs> I was really nervous about how this would go. Because... The, the Knights of John is a really difficult campaign to get going. You guys will see this after part 9 has come out. I've not recorded part 10, but I've got an idea. Okay, so... Let's deploy out wide. Deploy an infantry line here. Let's group some more infantry to come in from the flank. Let's keep our melee infantry more towards the buildings. Most, if not all, of our cavalry is going to go wide. General in the centre. And again, I've left a bunch of guys behind because I'm an idiot. So my Coeur de Bois, again, I've left them behind. And native musketman auxiliary. They're not about to get jumped on, are they? Well, I'm going to click run, anyway. Cavalry just deploy really wide. Although it looks like they've changed their position. Well, they're going to change their position, so let's speed up time. The Huron didn't even join them either. It's just France, and that's kind of perfect. Well, I say kind of perfect. It was the best result I could have hoped for. So this is a bit frustrating. They've decided to redeploy away from me. But let's start to deploy our troops toward the town. I do know they will not be useful there. <laughs> run into any of the spikes the rest of this infantry can run around onto the flank my melee infantry needs to hot foot it to the center my general go out wide to avoid the spikes as well. Let's speed up time. You guys need to run. As it is, a section of our infantry is going to be facing the bulk of the French force alone.
They will have some irregular support. There you go, the rest of our forces getting into position. It's from my pikes and the melee infantry down on the flank to spin around. Go on then, Karud. Deadly accurate fire to hit the 52nd. Spin my cavalry in quickly. My cavalry in a glorious charge. It's going to be reminiscent of the Pelennor. running around and try to get around the flank to prevent fratricide. Let's pull one cover unit away from this fight. Fisherman up. Yeah, they form square. Let's pull that cover unit away. Send my coverage, chase them down. Use my melee infantry to hit the units currently. Standing firm, pull my cavalry back. Come on, lads, you chase them down. No cavalry, I said run away. Stop redeploying into the square, the square of death. Hold fire. There we go. Let's keep my melee troops out of the way for now. city has been successfully surrounded and its garrison destroyed. Its inhabitants wish left my general all the way but oh no where is he? He's up there now. Okay, I'm not going to chase them down because I don't want them to get caught up in a uh, big spiky death party. Yep, the garrison has been destroyed. So, we can now get on to the business with so little losses as well. So there is no enemy units. Let's dispatch a unit of cavalry to guard the port to prevent a surprise sudden invasion. Let's 
build the cheapest sloop we can to hold the port, and that will provide us some serious tax income. Tempted to not spend any money in case the French decide to break out and raid. That's made me a whole lot better because we now have access to military tax, so our first order of business start racing down that tree. Your orders, your Majesty. And I'm probably going to... How happy are you? Barely. Villages are not growing. Okay, let's do some limited spending because now I'm confident in the fact that I'm not going to get destroyed by a massive... Uh, by a massive confederation against me. Nice one here on. Make ready. Okay. Firstly, let's repair the buildings. Except you, sadly. But that does open us up to getting some type of horse artillery. Actually, maybe the better option might be cast shot to open up um, regular artillery. I don't know. We should be able to get demi cannons anyway. So yeah, go down. Plug bayonet roots. Actually, maybe maybe canister, then square because they're more immediately useful than bayonets down to bring bayonet. Sweet. Awesome. Theodore. <clears throat> Theodore is growing in general capacity. Awesome. Then I might actually move Make all of these men to here Make to prevent ready. these chaps from breaking north, out northward and being annoying. There is a French army there. But with this technology, and soon we're going to have Montreal as well, we'll be able to build quite an impressive army. So let's hit end turn. No, actually, I don't want to make a peace, peace offering yet. So I might send those troops down to interfere with my operations. Yes, let's do that. I'll take... I need the cash is nice. Industry tech is nice. And carbines is nice because it means I don't have to research it later on. Good guy Ottomans. Good guy AI. Actually providing a valuable tech trade where normally they do not. So now our income is ours alone. Ah, they've sabotaged my workshops. Although I'm building new ones, so I'm not so bothered. Okay, I can probably get away with doing this to help convert the last of... Oh no, Montreal, they've all converted. Good. Let's rebuild this building. We've got an enemy agent in our midst. Let's replenish our troops and let's build our first cannon. Although I'm surprised we can't build a... We can't build a demi-cannon. But oh well. I'll take I'll take a gun. And let's send these militia north to intercept. This guy should he attempt to try and raid the school. Yep, trade re-raided, that's okay. Poland and Prussia are at war. Got a sloop here, so now our cavalry can join up. Wait, actually, no, I need to do some recomposition. So I probably want to get rid of my musketeer unit, my native musketeer unit. Grenadier, access to grenadiers. Ah, oh, this is going to be so good. Okay, we don't need to worry about upgrading the 
your roads yet. Farms would be good because you do have another town that we can build in, which would be great. I may now send this agent. But when this guy's replenished and I've got a cannon, I'm going to go and lay siege to Montreal. Then my spy is going to sit here and block this army from attacking me. Things are, things are starting to come good. So how much cash are you going to get actually next turn? 5,000. Good stuff. Well, I could... Could upgrade this, but is it going to be... Well, it will get raided eventually, but there's no reason to not invest in it now. Okay, end turn. Understandably, the French are frustrated. And there's probably going to be a whole lot of hurt coming our way. But right now, I am happy with my limited war against the French. And eventually, I will take... Um, is it Nova Scotia? Eventually take that territory. And then I'll use that as part of a front to push into the 13 colonies. And obviously, I don't know what time I ended this episode. I don't know what time I'm ending this episode on. Because I had that cut. And I didn't make a note of where my um, recording stopped. But I'm probably going to say... When we lay siege to Greece. Not Greece. Um, Montreal, that's when what I'm going to call it. Okay, we didn't get as much cash as I'd liked. Am I not, hopefully I'm not still losing money to... Well, I shouldn't be losing any money to the French. Okay, I'm not going to... Don't want to upgrade the school till I upgrade the building here. So even when I exempt them from tax, the villages aren't growing. So you keep replenishing, you bring up your cannon. Don't go for grenades, go for square formation. Got a six pound of horse artillery. Good stuff. Now I think we start to upgrade roads. Now we're a bit more sure of ourselves. Abundant yield fur trapper post. That's a good option to pick. So do need to expand Cayuga into building a building a um, happiness building. I may even build another school in Montreal because we've got two towns, which is perfect to build a university and a happiness building to help offset. Um, Quebec doesn't have it has one town. Well, it has a town, then it has these buildings, I suppose, which help offset unhappiness. Hmm. Food for thought. Although it's going to be a few turns before Tri Rivere actually grows. So let's keep doing what we're doing. Yeah, the French are moving around again with support. Oh, they ran around. Thankful. Thankfully, they didn't decide to uh, raid my school on the way. I should really have just attacked them. But we live and learn. But we absolutely need to make big gains now. Because we've got... Well, we're again we're fighting against Britain and France as a minor nation in the Americas. So I really can't, you know, I've got to be really careful how I spend my money, where I focus my income. But we should get a nice, handy chunk of change. I don't like where Venice is going because that's asking to raid me. Or to capture my territories. War declared between Poland and the Ottomans. Because you upgraded the farms. Are you still not fully re replenished? So 
to move my spy over here. I think Watching that's I think that works. Your orders, Your Majesty. Okay, I need to start upgrading my infrastructure as well. Your villages are not growing due to the tax burden, but I've limited it as it's down as low as it can get. So really that screams out I need to still push down this route more. Do roads contribute to city growth? I don't know. Maybe. I think I might actually upgrade this coffee plantation to get more goods to market. Can upgrade Niagara, probably up upgrade Niagara to a nothing again, because the Brits could just turn on me at any moment. Let's upgrade the iron mine. Sir. Let's take this small force and attack this little French unit. We lost a lot probably lost a lot more units than we need to, but it doesn't really matter. Send Mr. Mirabeau to put them under siege. Although I probably need to attack them before the French before the French catch up. Which I think is what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to assault Montreal. But, looking at the timer, plus kind of guessing, um, I think it's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.